Hey, uh, what's going on? So the uh, new uh, Sendin uh, software stable release is out 2.07. And I've kind of been real hesitant on giving this a shot just because of some stories I've read of users just not having it work or damaging their guns. So I wanted to be sure that I was able to uh, test it out thoroughly myself and give it a good once over. Now, I've only tested just the regular mouse portion of it. I haven't gotten into switching to joystick mode yet, so that'll be my next video covering it. But as far as just using it as is versus how your old firmware is using the uh, mouse mode, uh, this is going to be a better experience for you, and setup's not going to be very hard. Uh, I'll just go ahead and walk you through this and show you how to add it to your front end without needing to make a whole bunch of unnecessary changes. So just to follow along and we'll get this done. Okay, so first off, you'll just need to come to the uh, Send In Light Gun website. You can just click on Driver Software and you'll pull this up. So just click on this right here and you're going to get a uh, download right there. Now you're going to need to create a folder because all this is going to come as is. So if you don't want folders everywhere, go ahead and create a folder. Now what I like to do, I like to keep my software contained within my build. So if you're running a Launchbox build, if you're running something else, or you can even place this just on your desktop and your CD, DREET, whatever drive you're running. Just make your folder there. So I created one right here called Sending Light Gun 207. Just so I know that's what version this is. Now, of course, the um, a couple of improvements is you only need one instance to run this. So you don't need two different instances like I have right here. And I'm doing this off the Uncle Rick build as well. But the same method is going to work for any LaunchBox build in any front end. That's not Bottle Sarah. Why it's not Bottle Sarah is Bottle Sarah just takes over your system and does its own thing. I do believe, however, in the upcoming new Bottle Sarah number 40, they're going to have the new software on that one. So you'll be able to try it whenever they get that stable and released. Okay, so you don't need to remove this. You can just leave your old instances as is if you do have issues with this. Now, I will warn you, you know, you do this at your own risk. I haven't had any issues. I use both my guns. I had my guns for since the beginning of the Sinan era. So these are pretty old guns and they work fine. Uh, some improvements I have noticed is the mouse drag going left to right. It's helped that a lot. I can't say a lot. I mean, it's centimeters, but in this hobby where milliseconds and uh, milli inches really matter, that, that makes a big difference. So I will vouch for that. Of course, only needing one cent of software. And also, if you have issues to where your guns are having the same camera ID, that's always been a big issue if that happened. With this version, you don't need to worry about it. They can be 2Ds, 2Cs, or whatever. It should still be fine for you. Okay, so we have this created. And now we're just going to take these and we're going to drop them into your Sin and Light Gun folder here. All right, and once you do, you're going to have a folder looking like this. Now, the only uh, one that we do need is going to be the send in uh, Windows software. So we'll go in that folder, come into your send in light gun. And then this is where you'll find your executable. So we can just open that up. Okay, and of course, we'll do the basics. You'll just agree to the uh, licensing terms and agreement. Uh, yeah, I already have one running in the back end, so let me close mine out and come back. Okay, so of course, make sure you don't have any send in software running while you're doing this. I'll just kind of go over each of these tabs and tell you what they do. Oh, and so we have main. And right here, I have both these guns, and they're both asleep. Now, if you want sleep mode on, you can leave that checked. If you don't, you can leave that unchecked. Me, I, I don't like sleep mode. I've gotten used to uh, not having it in the old sending build. So, just turn the border on. 
shoot the screen. And now we're out of sleep mode. Let's well, see if you want sleep mode on. That's just how you do it. Uh, we can uh, switch our guns right here. So the black one I want as my send an A. So I'm just going to swap this to something different real quick. We'll say blue. Switch this to black. And I want this to be my red. Or if you have your red name player too, you would do that. Uh, be sure to uh, save your settings. Then you can just grab your gun. That looks fine. That looks fine. Okay, kind of backwards, so you may need to kill the program and restart it. So I want to go ahead and do that and see if that fixes that issue. Okay, so I just had to close the program and reopen it. Now, one thing that I have had to do a lot, actually, to get a lot of these to save, is once I save it and try to come back, it really wouldn't restart. So I had to close the program and reopen it, and then these would show up that I changed them. Um, anyways, you shouldn't be doing this part just yet, because we still need to update the gun, so I'll uh, go along here. Um, click this. If you have this on, I'm sure you probably want the gun to already start, so I'll just leave that checked. Um, this you can uncheck after you uh, do your alignment. If you're playing games that does use your directional pad, by holding that D-pad, then you may actually put your gun in alignment mode where you really don't need it to. Um, this, if you want your guns to go into joystick mode, you can just click that there. Um, recoil, yeah, so that's all self-explanatory. We'll move down to your border. And I always take off enable outer border. It just adds that black screen around it. So you get back out of here, uncheck it, save, and now we have the border going end to end on the screen. And that just happens in the old 1.08 as well. Um, I don't want a 4-3 border because I don't play that way. But if you do, go ahead and leave that on. And be sure to save your settings. Button assignments. Now, this is going to be very important to what you do. Especially if you're upgrading from your older one. If you have your own custom button assignments, you will want to like take a picture of what they look like from your old one. And just map them correctly here. This is not going to auto map from what you've done previously. So you will need to make those changes here. Like for using my build the Uncle Rick, I have the um, front left as mouse middle. So I'll change that to mouse middle. I have this set as escape off screen so you can get out of your games, set that to mouse middle, and so forth. And be sure to save it right here. This, don't worry about that. Unless you want to get to joystick mode then. I'll get more to that once I get to that myself. Of course, if you want recoil, you'll just check that. Check enable recoil. Save an update. And then you have all your settings right here you can mess around with. Um, calibration. Yeah, you do your calibration gun, but we haven't even updated our guns yet. I'm just giving you a glance over of what these would do and what you would need to do with these. 50 inches, I'm on a 27 inch, so you'll just change that to how many inches you have your monitor. Save it, and then you can just go on. Now, here's the juice of it. So you want to update your firmware. I've already updated mine, so I'm not going to do it again. But, you're just going to select your gun, make sure it shows right here. You get light gun info. Oh yeah, and do make sure this is stop. so if it's not, it's just going to give you this warning, no big deal. Hit stop. Get light gun info, check. So it's going to tell you what your camera name is, what color your gun is. Of course, if you want to change it, you can go blue, black, red, purple, whatever. If you want it to be shotgun, it can read a shotgun, but I don't know how that affects your gun. So the shotguns are coming down. I believe this is the main reason why they pushed this out already was just to get it working with the shotguns. So if you do have the, I want to say the GRS shotgun, that's what these will be for. 
um, enable your joystick device, and then it's going to tell you what you need to do. Disconnect, then reconnect for joystick dice to appear. If you want to do that, I just leave that checked and hit my update. Select the light gun firmware, and I will unplug it and replug it in later on, and I will go over that in the next video over this. Anyways, you'll upgrade it. Once you do, you're going to have 1.9. Then you can just clear that off. Go back to your next gun. Hit select gun. That's going to pop up. Hit your firmware info, 9H. It'll say 1.8 or 1.6, whatever you have. Same thing. Enable. Hit OK. You probably need to replug, disconnect. I'm not for sure yet on that. But this is what I've done. I haven't had any issues. Default, if you just want to leave it to black, it checks the nose, you want to change the color, hit that, and then you'll be updated. And then from that point, you can start, come to your main screen, and right here is where I do have issues. Once I do all that and I save it, it says these are disconnected, it just stays there. So I see only your real issue I have. I mean, it's not bad once you get everything set up because. It'll just automatically pop up for you, but you'll have to close it, reopen it, go to your main, and it'll probably take a few moments for it to connect. Yep, so this one's connected. Now they're both connected. When I start a game, these things connect pretty quickly, so I don't know, I'm assuming this will probably get fixed in a update later for a faster connection. But anyways, that's really it. That is how you uh, set this up. Uh, I'll go ahead and minimize it. Now, let's say you want to, if you're using a LaunchBox build and you do want to switch this over, uh, the way mine is set up, I have it in my tools and uh, options. You'll go to uh, startup applications. Yes. And this is where I just have my programs automatically starting. So if I just want to go back and just have my old ones start up, I'll just click on these and have it for both for LaunchBox and BigBox. But if you are switching over to the new one, um, let me go ahead and remove this and show you how to add it on. So let's we'll remove it. Fresh, it's not there. We're going to add it. So we want to find the location of uh, of your um, sending here. Actually, yours is going to be like this. Sending 2.7. We'll have to go into the Windows software. Go into your sending light gun. Light guns. Hit open. And now we have all that populated. And then you can just set it to both. Now this is what I do because if you have a really long name, that could really cause some issues down the road with some games just because the name is so long. So for me, just to kind of help keep the application path short, you can actually just pull out the send in folder itself. So let me uh, get to my program here. I want to back out, back out. So this is where you have it saved. And all you really need to do is go into this folder here and drag this folder out. So you can just take it, copy it, whatever you want to do, and uh, drop it down here. Which that's why I don't want this folder here. So I took it, drop it, and I just renamed it Sending Light Gun 2.07. And when you do, it just takes you straight to the Ascending file itself. So I don't want this one now. I want to remove that. Add application. Go to tools. And this is the one that we pulled out. I just renamed it Sending Light Gun 2.7. And all you should have is just that one right there. Once you click on it, hit open, set that to both. And do not click this. You're going to keep getting 20 different settings popping up if you do. Hit OK. 
and now anytime launch box pops up or anytime big box starts you're going to have the sending program starting up along with it if you want that per uh, every time you open up your launch box if you want to do it per game i will cover that part down the road it's just a little bit more uh, it's just a little bit more work but we'll get to that but anyways so that is how you update the firmware that's how you set it up and that's how you set up with launch box to take over and automatically launch for you anyways i hope that helps you all out and uh, y'all have a great day thank you